Hey everybody, I'm Lonnie Law, lead technician for Stellar Technologies. Today I'm going to tell you about Dell C6100, their 2U ultra dense uh, cloud server that they've got out. Their, the cloud series of servers is kind of geared towards more of a, um, an ultra scale type of environment where we're doing you know, web hosting, web 2.0, uh, HPCCs, that kind of stuff. This particular unit is a 2U, 4-node, uh, shared backplane fans power supply unit. Uh, pretty, pretty cool beast here. Let me take the lid off and show you. This particular unit is running Intel's 5520 chipset, so we can take the Xeon 5500 or 5600 quad or 6-core CPUs. This uh, also is going to use 12 DDR3 uh, DIMM slots for a maximum capacity of 96 gigabytes of RAM. We've also got, uh, it comes in two flavors just like most of the Dell units right now, whereas we can put in 12 3.5 inch hard drives or 24 2.5 inch hard drives. The three and a halfs we can go in either a SATA or a SAS. Two and a halfs we can go SATA SAS or solid state, which is really cool, really fast, really, really fun. On these particular units, we've got an onboard Intel ICH10R RAID that we can run. That's going to be a three gigabit per second SATA RAID. It's going to be software based and it's going to run zero, one, five, or ten. We can do the, uh, we can put an add-in card in our mezzanine slot here, which I'll explain later. Uh, this is going to be the LSI 2008 SAS uh, chip. That'll do a software RAID for uh, 6 gig per second SATA or SAS. And that can do a RAID 0, 1, or 10 on, on that particular card. It's just like the, the SAS 6IR uh, from previous generation Dell servers. If you really want to go all out and, and do a full battery backed hardware RAID, we offer the uh, LSI 9260 8i card. Uh, we can do up to eight drives per, and this is going to do the full whatever RAID you want to go from zero to 60. So there's lots of RAID options that we can do in this this tiny little box right here. On board, we've got two Intel Gigabit NICs. Also here, we've got a custom mezzanine slot, which is based on a PCIe 8x slot right here. We can add in, in this they have released InfiniBand cards to go in here. We've got 10 gig NICs that we can throw in here, or like I mentioned before, that SAS adapter to, to run the drives. We've also got a full PCIe 16x slot where we can run the, uh, the hardware based RAID card that I mentioned before, the 9260, or any any half height, half length card will go in this unit without any issue. On board, we've also got an IPMI 2.0 BMC. There's a dedicated NIC on the back for full uh, systems management. And we've also got support from Dell for uh, Red Hat 5 or 6. We've got SUSE 11 or Windows 2008 R2 or Server 08 R2 have, have full driver sets, full functionality in this, guaranteed to work. There's also hypervisors that we can get going in here. So if you want to virtualize these things, by all means, let's do it. Uh, we can run ESX 4.1, we can run uh, Citrix Zen Server, or we can run uh, Server 08 R2 uh, Hyper-V. So we've got plenty of options there. Dell kind of gears these towards a hyperscale design. If you don't need any of the, the management stuff uh, offered in the DRAC or the other Dell units and want just something that's going to sit there and do the job and you're going to manage it yourself, this looks great for a small business as well. Buy one, virtualize it, get all your servers going, you're good to go. Um, one other cool thing about this box, it's actually very energy efficient. Since we're sharing fans and a backplane, we don't have that going in every system, cutting down on electricity here. There's also a number of different power supplies that you can run in this because you can scale these down whatever components you've got installed in each node you can scale it down and run the correct power supply for those components you can also only run it at two nodes if you want to we can do two three or four nodes and it will run just fine 
So we can go anywhere from a 470 watt power supply up to a 1400 watt if you've got these things, you know, just ready to, to go just beastly on, uh, on some virtual machines or something like that. You can do the 1400 watts, load all four of them up, good to go. These also take the new Samsung Green RAM. This, uh, that's the lower voltage RAM that Samsung released. They come in an eight big, gigabyte variety right now and they'd run perfect in this thing to even further uh, increase energy efficiency. So like I'd mentioned before, this box is a great box if you're doing hyperscale technology of any kind, if you're doing Web 2.0, the uh, high performance computing clusters or any kind of uh, web center data hosting or anything like that, perfect for it. Uh, but we've seen users as well take these and use them for a small business, just virtualize them and, uh, and go with it. So it's, it's a great all-around box uh, for pretty much anything you'd want to do, but perfect for running something hyperscale. Thanks for tuning in, guys.